Notre Dame at Duke. A couple weeks ago, bet you didn't think we were going to be talking about this game. Maybe. Wow, it's at Duke. Am I right by that? That it's at Duke. That just yep. the game day is going to be there. That makes it so scary. That makes it so scary. And I know that Notre Dame came off a really tough loss, and I know they're going to be just locked in in practice all week. But Duke has been locked in all year. Notre Dame doesn't scare these guys. Notre Dame does not scare Duke at all. These kids know exactly what they're getting into. Mike Elko is a great coach. In fact, I'll go as far as saying a much better coach than Marcus Freeman up until this point. Based on, yes, dude, what was that? This is not a Notre Dame-Ohio State segment, but there have been multiple times, not even just in the Ohio State game, there have been multiple times this year where they've put 10 guys on the field on defense. That can't happen. And then his justification for not doing it and sending out a guy late was like, oh, we we're going to get a penalty on the one-yard line. On the one, not, not that that necessarily changes the game, but, like, it might have been the same outcome. But, like, come on, dude. Like, it just feels like, I don't know. I don't know. I think Mike Elko is that dude. And I'm, that, I'm an A&M fan, right? So, obviously, I'm missing him dearly. But just what he's done, man. And Riley Leonard is a dog and that defense flies around those transfer corners that we were talking about in the preseason hit these guys are awesome and who knows can notre dame's receivers can they can they figure it out well they've been good right Ohio state they struggled a little bit can these young receivers overcome but i think so far up to this point it's been a pretty okay secondary duke fans you maybe you can correct me on that uh let me know if you agree with that in the comments but um from my knowledge for me watching, I think they've been pretty good. Yeah, they shut down Ben Bryan and Northwestern, which, <laughs> which Minnesota some teams couldn't do. Damn it, damn it. Don't get me upset right now. <laughs> um, no, but I, I to, to add on to your point about, you know, giving a ton of credit to Duke and how they've looked this year is uh, the main takeaway, I think, from a lot of people's eyes in that first week one game was that regardless of the turnovers, regardless of what happened, is Duke – looked like the same caliber of football team that Clemson was in terms of athlete for athlete, which is not something that they've had there in a long, ever, right? Ever. Like basketball team, basketball team, yes, obviously. Football team, no. They really haven't. And the takeaway from Notre Dame against Ohio State, I thought, for me, was like they were pound for pound right there with Ohio State, right, in terms of caliber of athlete. Um, So obviously credit to both these programs, both these coaches for, for you know, building up the, the talent level on that roster. Um, the best player in this game, make no mistake, is Riley Leonard. Make no mistake, he is the best player in this game. Wow. In terms That's of a statement. Well, in, in terms of impact, obviously Joe Alt, I think, is obviously gonna be drafted higher. He, he's a stud. We all know that. Um, Austin May is a good player. Obviously, Sam Hartman's a really good quarterback in his own right. But Riley Leonard is the best player in this game, I think. And I think he's really gonna show it. I'm gonna go. With Notre Dame to win, and I, I'm kind of taking this off here. I'm gonna call Duke to cover because I do think it's gonna be a really, really good football game. Um, I don't know how rowdy the atmosphere is gonna be in uh in uh in Dur is it it's Durham, right? It's Duke. Am I tripping? Yeah, it's Durham, right? Yeah, in in Durham, North North Carolina, there. But obviously, it's week one is weird because you know a lot of people are moving in to college still. Uh, Labor Day weekend was Monday night. So, obviously, there was a big joke about the, the student section at Duke and, like, storming the field. But, no, I think I think they'll be ready to go there. It's a 6.30 game, um, prime time, ABC. But, yeah, I, I'm going to go. I, I think Duke, right? Let me just make plays. Through the ground, through the air. Calhoun's a stud. Um, defense make enough plays. Mike Elko will scheme up something good against that ground game. And, uh, yeah, I – I think it's going to be a great game. I really do. I, I think game day chose the right place to be at with these two teams. Yeah, I like, in all reality, if Notre Dame sticks to the run game, right, I think that they can win this football game. They, they just got to commit. They just got to commit to it. And they have, and it felt like late. Why was Estimate not in the game in that last possession? Will blow my mind forever. Again, another Marcus – is that Marcus Freeman's decision? Is that – why was he not in his offense coordinator's year? I, I don't know. 
but everything in my heart, everything in my heart is telling me that Mike Elko can scheme against this run. They're averaging 3.8 yards per carry on the ground for the year. It's pretty solid. Everything in my heart is telling me that that secondary can lock down these Notre Dame receivers. Everything in my heart tells me that Riley Leonard's going to make enough plays. Everything in my heart tells me that things go right on the at home for Mike Elko. They're not afraid of this game. Give me Duke to cover and to win. Give me Duke wow. to win straight up in this game. I could be totally wrong, but guess what? I want to be the guy that said I'm right. So we'll see. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't love this pick by any means, but nope. I I just I just feel I know Notre Dame was in a dog fight. They I better be ready we, for another one. I'm just gonna say they better be ready for. They another better one. be ready for another one. And guess what? Duke is fresh and they and fresh off. I mean, look. Hopefully, Riley Leonard's professor is gonna let him turn in homework late this time. Um. Oh, this isn't a night game though, so he, he should be fine. He should be fine. But goodness, I, I really like Riley Leonard. And this is not a Sam Hartman slander segment either. I love Sam Hartman. That dude is awesome. And there is a reason that. My decision, right, is not correct. It might be because of Sam Hartman stepping up, lowering his shoulder, getting those first downs, threading those needles. Uh, but, yeah, just in a coaching battle, like you said last week, Mike Norvell versus Dabo Sweeney's staff, you took Mike Norvell, and that ended up being the difference in the game. Give me Mike Elko over Marcus Freeman in this game. I don't hate that. I, I kind of forgot. When you talk about – when you said Marcus – Mike Elko's a better coach than Marcus Freeman, I – in in terms of coaching and and you know week to week like Saturday or Sunday to Saturday right and during that game clock management Mike Delco, but I do think as a as a whole coach recruiter being able to run an elite program I do think Marcus Freeman is that, there's a reason why Marcus Freeman is at Notre Dame and Mike Elko's at Duke and that's not to say Duke Mark Elko will not be at a place like Notre Dame eventually I think we both know he will be obviously for Duke's sake they hope they keep him there forever um but real quick I do want to say this. We talk about good teams win, great teams cover. Duke is 4-0. 4-0 against the spread this year, man. They have – that. I mean, even Northwestern, you thought it was going to be let down. Nope. Connecticut, right? And who, who who's there? It's, it's the old UCLA, UCLA coach. Jim Mora. Jim Mora. Yeah. Thank you. I always forget his name. Shout out Jim Mora. Dominated Connecticut on the road there. They went to Connecticut, right? Dominated there, obviously. I, I think – I don't know. Like you said, Mike Elko will have those boys humming, humming for this game. I'll ask you two questions, and then we can move on. What is Duke's record last year with Marcus Freeman, and what is the record this year with Marcus Freeman? Duke, Duke won nine games. In, Duke won nine, nine games four last, year. last year. They're not nine and four, I'll tell you that, last year. Because I'll tell you, Notre Dame's roster was arguably better than than Duke's roster, and they did not go nine and four. Now, obviously, all schedules are not created equally, but do, but Mike Elko does not lose to Marshall does or Stanford or Stanford. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Come on, what do we? And that that's all all credit to Matthew McConaughey and, and uh and Marshall there. They they obviously you know they they were a good team last year. They had great defense, as, as Miami's learning right now with Lance Gildry. How good that 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 Marshall defense was last year, but yeah, I, like yeah, like you said, Mike Elko, good ass coach. Yeah, all the Notre Dame fans, feel free to slander me in the comments because I think there's a really good chance that I'm proven wrong. <laughs> I think there's a really good chance to be proven wrong, and you guys can be here when that happens. I don't care. So just I'll, so you know. I'll tell you the re- the reason why, and I, and I don't know if you're in the same boat here. Is I I don't have a a good feeling on this game in terms of like, like my eye test tells me that Notre Dame should good. win, should cover. And Notre Dame's, re- yeah, yep, 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 yep. But something about my gut, my gut just tells me right here, Duke, Duke points, Duke to cover. That That's what it is, I think. And, and sometimes that's, that's all it is. In college football, you have 12 different, oops, sorry, got a little emotional there. Too fired up for this. I hit my mic, but yeah, th- 12 different teams. Right in the regular season, you have twelve different teams. You have no idea week to week to happen, but I'll tell you, Mike Elko knows, man. Mike Elko knows how to get his team ready to play. I agree. 